uh, welcome to our second lab. So in this lab, we will try to uh, use, uh, try to understand, get familiar with different data types and also variables uh, in Python. Uh, so first, let's log into AWS Educator and also through my classroom. Let's open the AWS console of this class. And from there, let's open Cloud9. <clears throat> so that is a, a Python editor. Uh, so if you haven't used Cloud9 for um, for multiple hours, so you may need to wait for a few uh, minutes so that wait the Cloud9 instance to be ready. Okay, so once it is ready, so let's go to the terminal. And you can see right now my terminal is closed. So I go to window and also uh, new terminal. And make sure that we are in the local repository folder. So let's type CD I241. So that is this folder. Okay. And now we are in this local repository folder and we can see we have our lab one, uh, lecture two, etc. So if we tap LS, we can see we have lab one, lecture two, those Python files, lessons and readme, etc. Um, and also it is also the best practice practice that we want to synchronize our local repository with the GitHub repository. So let's type G-I-T-P-U-L-L, git pull. Okay, so make sure that our local repository is up to date. Okay, it looks like, looks like it is ready. It's, it's already up to date. Uh, now let's create a new Python script. So you can right click and a new file and let's call it lab2.py. All right. So let's try some, uh, try to answer the questions in our lab instructions. Uh, so I would give each uh, question a comment. Okay. And also, if you like, you can add a, a regional comment as well. So this is lab two. Okay. Uh, so our first question, which is 3.1, is that we need to define a variable as my name. So my underscore name. Remember, use underscore to separate letters in your variable names and assign a variable, a string to that variable. So to define a string, we use quotation mark. And let's print my name. So now you can see once you, you have defined the name, the variable, you can see, you can auto complete that variable name uh, next time. So let's run it. So now we just created a defined uh, a value that in Python, and we as, we assign this variable, refer to this value, and now if we print this variable, so we get the value of that string. All right, uh, let's continue. Three point two. So this time we are going to define a variable that refer to integer. So let's say one, two, three. And let's print. Okay, and you can see it's it's the same. So now we have an integer. And we use this variable to refer to that integer. So now if we print my ID, we get that value. Okay, 3.3. So let's say, can we do that in the another way? So now let's say one, two, three equals my ID. Can we do that? Uh, no, you can see here uh, we have error. So if you really want to run it, so you'll have error in your output. And you can see that in the line 17s, the, this is uh, where we have error. So the reason is because we, not, we always assign the value on the right side to the left side. So now we already have a variable, but what we want to do is that we want to assign this variable to this uh, one to three. So now the one to three is now considered another variable. And we know that for the variables, you cannot start with number. The variable name cannot start with number. So for example, if you use that one, 
so this will work because uh, you can start with n scores, but you cannot start variable names, uh, variables uh, uh, with numbers. Okay, so let's put that into comment. And <clears throat> so can we do this one? So my ID equals your ID equals one to three. So let's try it. And now you can see we don't have any errors here. And it looks worked. So let's print my ID and print your ID. Okay, and you can see one to three. So that is because we, we assign those two variables to the same value. So my ID and also your ID calls the same value, which is one to three. So that also worked. Okay, uh, so let's try um, next. So we define a string as my ID. So my ID, but this is in a string format. And let's see, we want to assign the value one to three in a string format to this my string, uh, my ID string variable. So now you can see the difference. So if you just assign like this, okay, and if you print type my ID string, so that will, you can see this is an integer because uh, without quotation mark, this one to three will be considered numbers. So if you put a uh, quotation mark around one to three, and now you run it, and you can see now uh, one to three is considered string, and also we assign this string to this variable. So the type of the variable is also string. Okay, uh, so now let's just type my ID string, and you can see, although the output are the same, but the data type is different. All right, 3.4. Uh, so can we use my stream plus my ID? So let's say print my name. Actually, it is my name plus my ID. Okay. Remember that my name is Tom, which is a string, and also my ID is an integer. So you can see here we don't have any errors here because there's no syntax error. So, but if we run it, we got error that is a type error, okay? So that is because we cannot use a string plus integer, okay? We cannot use string plus integer. So we can use either integer plus integer or float plus integer or string plus string. So this is not allowed. So let's put that one into comment. Again, remember, if you want to put a, a line into comment, that is control plus slash. So uh, you can also go here, editor, uh, command, also you can see control plus slash. Okay, 3.6. So what about uh, my name plus my ID string? So print my name plus my ID, but in a string format. Again, so my name is a string. My ID string is also a string. So in that case, you can see it worked. So it just combined two strings together as a new string. Okay, so that is work. That worked. Three point seven. So how about my name times three? Okay, my name is a string, which is Tom, and also three is a number, is an integer. So are we going to have an error here? Okay. Uh, you might be surprised by the result. So let's run it. You can see, no, we don't have an error. So actually it's just uh, duplicated uh, the string uh, three times. Okay, so that actually is pretty interesting. Okay, uh, 3.8. <clears throat> uh, so let's see, uh, we, want to have a string so let's see print this string is hello word this is my 
first Python string. OK, uh, so that is a string and we want. And also we have period here. We want to split this stream based on a period. So to split, we use the, the building method that is dot split. And within this parentheses, we tell the uh, based on which character we want to split. So we want to split by the period. So now if we run it, you can see it will retain a list. So that is first part. Because we split based on period, that is a second part. And this is a empty string, so that is the third part. OK, so that is split a string based on um, a period. And if you try to use, let's say, let's say we want split based on let i. OK, and you can see uh, this is the first part. And this is the second part. All right, so let's move back to based on period. All right, OK, uh, our last question is that we want to define a message. OK, so if we want to define message, let's see, message variable equals this so Tom's ID is one two three another quotation mark okay so here they say we define a string within this pair of this quotation mark we within the string the text is Tom's ID is one two three and you can see we already have an error here okay that is invalid syntax so if we run it we will have an error that is because when we define a string and if we want type quotation mark within a string, so here the single quotation mark. However, Python consider this one as a string and also this one will not, Python will not be able to understand. Okay, so because they consider this part as a string. Okay, so if you really want to print Tom's ID is string, you should use the double quotation mark. OK, so in that case, this single quotation mark will be considered a symbol in this string. So now if we run it, oh, we, we have to print this message. So print this message variable. <clears throat> OK, so now this worked. OK, so if you again, so if you use in that way, if you always if you use single quotation mark to, to define the strings, then the single quotation mark within the string will also uh, will also be recognized as a part of the definition of the string. So that's why we have those errors. All right, uh, I'm going to put that into comments. Uh, so that's uh, some very basic statistic, uh, the basic exercise of the uh, data types and also variables in Python. And so now let's go back to the terminal. Okay. Uh, so now we have uh, finished the lab two. So we want to upload our lab two to our GitHub repository. So let's type those GitHub comments. So that is git add. Here we need two dash all. So that makes this one into track and we commit dash m. So let's add a command. So that is my lab two. OK, uh, now let's get a push. <clears throat> and you can see this time uh, and they, they didn't ask the password and also the username. That is because, remember, in the last lab, we saved those tokens and also the username into our local uh, repository disk, into this Cloud9 uh, disk, hard disk, in a plain text, so which actually is not the 100% best practice. But this, that uh, does save us time that we don't need to type the tokens every time. 
So now let's go to our GitHub and let's check our uh, GitHub repository. OK, and now you can see lab two is here. So that's what we just did. So to submit your lab, uh, you can just copy this URL on Canvas and submit that one on Canvas.